Is it an over-exaggeration to say pubs are in crisis at the moment? Not at all. Uh, we've got a perfect storm brewing, really, sort of April time. Uh, we've got VAT increases. Obviously, uh, we, we were helped out uh, with a 5%. Uh, it then went to 12.5%, and now it looks like it's going to go back up to 20%, which is going to cripple so many pubs and businesses. And uh, uh, without doubt, it's going to cost a lot of jobs uh, where, when the VAT goes back up. So hopefully, you know, that can be deferred. But we've, we've got energy prices. We've got food inflation. We've got uh, bounce-back loans to pay. We've got national insurance being hiked. You know, it is a perfect storm. Uh, against our businesses at the moment. And uh, without doubt, I think it, unless there is action taken by the government, you are going to see £7 pints uh, a little bit more often, Patrick. To be yes, honest. indeed, indeed. Uh, uh, yes, I'm not looking forward to it at all. But, I mean, pubs are more than just uh, a money-making business. They're more than that. They can be the beating heart or the lifeblood of the local community as well, can't they? And, actually, they are very, very much worth protecting because especially in some rural areas you know once they're gone you're not really getting a local pub back are you no look it's a public house and it's called that for a reason you know uh centuries or decades and centuries people have used pubs uh for their social life and there's there's a lot of you know I, I bang this drum during lockdown that there was a lot of elderly customers that lost all their interactions uh in life and i think that probably cost quite a few lives uh, during lockdown, you know, they missed um, talking to people, they missed uh, meeting friends or talking to the, the barmaid or, or the barman. Um, so, look, pub, pubs are, they're, they're part of this country, you know, our pubs are unrivaled throughout the world and um, definitely need protecting. But we've got a lot stacked against us this year. It's going to be a tough year and I think you're definitely going to see price rises, Patrick. And, you know, you mentioned earlier that you want to see the government do more to help you. And, of course, uh, we want to protect the pubs, as many pubs as we can in this country. What are the actions that you want to see the government take exactly? I mean, the, the main one that I would say today is that, you know, putting VAT back up to 20 percent is, is going to cripple a lot of businesses. It's almost like a, a double tax hike in six months for pub, pubs and businesses. You know, we, we were really helped out by the 5 percent rate. Uh, and I think a lot of us are quite realistic that it couldn't stay at that. But I think if, if they can extend the 12.5% um, rate for a while, it, it's going to, you know, it might negate some of the other problems we've got. I mean, my, my, my pub, my little pub, Backstreet Pub, was paying £1,500 a month electric this time last year. It's now £3,000 a month. So uh, I don't think a lot of customers and, and the public know the costs that are hitting businesses and, and pubs at the moment, uh, but it, it, it's certainly a perfect storm.